live on YouTube. My focus is to make sure it's, uh, you know, whatever. All right, so look here, guys. Yeah, I saw a few guys, I was trying to f with that camera. I was, uh, I was catching a few guys, like, leaning with their head a little bit on the under hook. You gotta be careful not to lean your head into that side, right? But that's where the throws are gonna come from. So I'll just reiterate, I'm going linear on the wrist. I'm going cross grip. I'm going elbow. So I have, it's all, it's all, uh, I have this arm completely controlled, and I'm going chest to chest. Open the elbow, swim the hand inside, and now from here, right, here, I go knuckles on the head, inside position, and really where you want to be is here. I didn't stress that when I was showing it last, but this is really, really big. I, I know I've taught, I've taught all of you guys this numerous times. Your hips have to be in. Why do my hips have to be in? Give me one reason, you don't have to give me all of them. Tracker hips. What Yeah, but why? Stay close to him if he tries to move. Yeah, that, but, well, yeah, but he can also toss me, right? If my hips are back, he can lay from me. Uchimata me. If my hips are in, he goes Uchimata me. Very hard, see? My hips are on. You want, this is a self-defense measure. You really want to keep your hips in. Where should my knuckles be? Right in my temple. Now from here, look what I do. Once I get that side angle, I'm going to reach for the single, and I'm going to drive with my right arm. Stay up. He pops. See that? And I tighten my knees. My ear goes to the chest and I grab my own wrist in the center. See this? Now to finish the takedown, all I have to do is step to the side, step back, drive my shoulder down on the femur, and I get my single leg really, really simple. There we go. There's three ways to finish a single right there. Running the pipe, tripping, and lifting. There's only three ways that you're gonna be able to finish a single. And we're gonna use the running of the pipe. So I'm grabbing the wrist. Up here, elevate the elbow, underhook arm in. Important to make sure that connection is there so you can't lift arm out. And I attack the large part of my partner's arm. See that? The large part of my partner's arm. From here, I'm lowering my level, grabbing the single, and driving against his post leg. Can someone tell me why I'm driving against his post leg this way? It takes the weight off. His yeah, great job, Morgan. It takes the weight off of his uh, the leg I'm attacking. If I don't do that, he's going to keep a lot of weight. I won't be able to lift it. So from here, I'm going to grab my own wrist, ears on the chest. Should my head ever deviate lower than the chest line? Why is that? Push my head down. Push my head down. So you want to keep your ear on the chest, like I always say, in the words of Matt Lindland, listen to the heart, here and here. Then I'm stepping, I'm stepping. Look at my right shoulder. Where's the position over the femur? That gives me added leverage to get the takedown. Your chest shouldn't be on the leg, your shoulder should be. Then I'm just running the pipe. Give it a go on three. One, two, three. Okay.